Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of The Black Mirror. And welcome to Willow Creek. Pleasant looking place. We have a door. We have to the pub. I don't know, man, but we do have... I guess I can't reach that person over there. I'll have to go to the pub. Unless there's something... Oh, I can pan. Okay. Now let's talk to the fisherman. Excuse me, may I speak with you? Sure you can, young man. A uh, fish. So how is it going today? I'm going to catch a big one today. I hope. If only it will rain. You mean because of the fish? Have you caught anything yet? Not a scale. My luck was much better yesterday. Fish are too smart. They won't go out of water. Well, I'm not surprised. Heh. I had a very nice one on the hook a while ago. But it managed to slip away in the last second. I dragged it in as far as the pier. But then it snapped my line. The biggest and oldest ones are truly cunning. They get tangled in the seaweed at the bottom. And then wait until you snap the line yourself. Why don't you fish further out in the river? My old boat has too many leads. Besides, I enjoy fishing this way better. Good luck to you. I have to go now. Thanks. What a robot. Start raining soon. Good luck to you. I have to go now. My planet needs me. Anyway, to the pub. I'll do it for real this time. Oh. Three kegs. Anyway, how about this kit? You got any information for me? Uh. Are we just not? Oh, okay. Oh, no. He just didn't say anything. I have options right here. Jeez. Okay. What's your name? Hi. What's your name? I won't tell you that. I must not talk to strangers, and Mum has forbidden me. So, will you tell me your name if I tell you mine? No, I don't know you. Have you got some sweets? What? Maybe some chocolate. Okay, so taking candy from strangers is like the most obvious thing in the book, right? I shouldn't talk to strangers, but then he, like, I'm not even soliciting candy, he's asking me for candy. Unreal. But, yeah, I'll do it. I do have some sweets, that's what they're for, I think. Would you like some sweets? Sure, that would be great. Are they chocolate? I don't really know. My name is Samuel Gordon. Will you tell me your name too? Well, why not then? I'm Vic. Do you know of anything interesting going on around here? I haven't been in this place in a very long time. Hmm, probably not. Nothing much happens here. This village is terribly boring, you know. I see. Can I go play again? Of course. Watch out for the windows. Yeah, don't worry. Have you seen this man? Vic. Have you ever seen the man in this picture? Let me see. No, I guess I haven't. I would have surely remembered that one. He looks pretty stupid. Why are you looking for him, Samuel? Are you related? You had better watch your mouth. <laughs> on, that was just a joke. The sass on that kid. Whoa. Oh, oh that, that, okay, that was just my inventory. For for just a second, I thought I had a hundred things to ask. I'm actually curious, though. No, that, that might be it for my sweets. Well, in any case, let's go into the pub. Two people. Uh, Tom, sure. Hello. <laughs> just walk up to some guy. Hello. Hello. Alright, so Curiosity, Village, Fisherman. I'll just go in order. Curiosity. Out of Curiosity. 
how long have you been sitting here? A few hours, I guess. Why do you want to know? I just, jeez, I don't know. That's my way of saying hello, I guess. Oh, okay. I've been here for two or three hours. I've got nothing to do today. Why don't you take a chair? No, thank you. Maybe some other time. Village? Tell me, is anything interesting going on in the village? Here? No. In fact, I don't remember anything interesting ever happening around here. <laughs> ever? In Willow Creek, nothing ever changes. And a uh, fisherman. I saw a fisherman on the shore on my way here. Do you know him? Oh, Jim, of course I know him. He's my uncle from my mother's side. Is he always sitting there, fishing? He appears to have been sitting there the whole day. Yeah, he's the most patient person I've ever known. He spends hours on that pier just sitting. I wouldn't last a single hour, you know. We don't even say bye, just we're out. All right, how about Harry? Good morning. <laughs> Bye. So we got Tom, we got Harry, and I'm an investigator, so does that make me a dick? We got Tom, Dick, and Harry? Hello, hello, Sad. Anyway, um, what's new? I haven't been here in a long time. What can you tell me about the manor? Well, I'm not sure where to begin, but really, there isn't much in the way of news. Hold on. You seem familiar to me. Haven't we met at the Winter Feasts? No, I don't think so. But I do know you. See, I'm pretty good with faces. What about last month during the vintage? Is that it? Listen, I... Yeah, yeah, I know. You probably owe me something and aren't comfortable with my having recognized you, right? I owe you nothing, Harry. <laughs> you say, Harry? Tom, this young lad here is calling me Harry. But he says he doesn't know me. Well, the UI said... Don't let him annoy you, sir. He's been trying that on strangers for as long as I remember. I just... Is that a problem with the fact that I want me money back? There wouldn't be any if you weren't making those debts up. Bah! Indeed. You're the right one to say that. Should I show you your last month's bill? Right, right. Calm down. That's pretty good. I'm just advocating this young fellow here because he's a stranger and he doesn't know those tricks of yours. Okay, I've had enough. One more word and you're not getting a pint of water on credit. Or let me tell you what. I'll pour you nothing until you pay off the whole debt. Come on, Harry. Don't be a cheapskate. Listen, if you let me finish, I'll tell you who I am. Sounds great. I'm listening. I am Samuel Gordon, the son of Randall Gordon, of Castle Black Mirror. Why didn't I say so right away? Well, I tried to, but you wouldn't actually let me speak. Okay, well, that gives things a nice twist. A Gordon is always welcome here. So, what can I get you? Today, we have smoked venison on the menu, along with a good staff beer. No, uh, thanks. Maybe later. I'd like to ask a couple of questions, though. Oh, sure. Wow. Okay, finally. Let's try Black Mirror again, please. Harry, what's new in the village? Things happen, but there isn't much news. How should I understand that? Well, I hear a lot of gossip, but nothing worth mentioning. You see, we all know one another here, so nothing's too interesting. Maybe. That's going to change now. Yeah, I'll let you know when it does. Okay, and about the pub? Harry, until what time are you open? Well, that depends, but usually late into the night. You see, I don't sleep much, and when I'm not doing something, I'm usually pretty bored. But not many folks show up so late, do they? I usually play cards with Tom here, or I play chess with myself. Oh, you play chess? I'd say I've learned to play well during all those long nights. Let's play together sometime then. 
Sure. About the pub again. I remember William bringing me here. Yep, so do I. He was a serious poker player, you know. Incredibly lucky with the cards. He would totally clear us out, but then he would return everything. Yeah, he was a nice bloke. That's a real shame he stopped coming here. Hmm. Why? Who knows? We were all on good terms. But the last six months, he didn't show up once. Well, it's a bit of a distance, and at his age. Nah, I wouldn't say that was the reason. William was always a tough old gent. I'll tell you something, though. They say he wouldn't even come out of the castle, and instead locked himself away in the old tower to study some old volumes and stuff. Where did you hear that? Well, I told you. I hear things from time to time. What else have you heard? Nothing. But maybe Mark knows <laughs> Nothing. something. Nothing. He used to help out in the manor garden. Where can I find him? He would normally be here by now, so he's probably not going to turn up today. Never mind. I'll ask him some other time. As if William was hiding something. I have to know more about the last months of his life. All right, we're out. I'll hit up Tom again. What do you want from me? I'd just like to ask about something. All right. Uh, the debt. How long have you owed Harry money? That's my business, not yours. Or do you want to pay up for me? Should I? Well, I overheard your conversation about old Sir William. Do you know anything that might be interesting to me? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. My memory is fogging up. It's probably the thirst, you know. Oh, I see. I know where he's coming from. I'll pay off his debt, and then I'll ask again. All right, there you go. Do I talk to Harry, or do I use my wallet on him? I'll try talking first. Change your mind about the dinner. My Mary makes some wonderful meals. Everyone around here will tell you that. I believe you. I'm just not hungry yet. I would like to ask a couple of questions, though. Okay, feel free. Debt. Will you change your mind about that debt of Tom's? It's partly my fault, you know. I'd be glad to, but then he wouldn't pay it off next month either. They say he who doesn't pay should not drink. Well, there is some truth to that. Oh, there we go. Pay off the debt. I have decided to pay off Tom's debt. <laughs> I have decided. <laughs> you want to do that, Mr. Gordon? I just want to. Could you sum it up? Mm. Okay. Well, as you wish. At seventeen pounds. All right. Here. Well, I've no idea what Tom might have promised you, but you better not believe him. That's none of your business. So what is his bill like now? All clear. Good. Well, all right. Let's try this again. Oh, it's you again? Dead. I have done what you have asked. Now it's your turn. Right, I heard you. I guess you have done me a good turn. So what do you know about William? I'll tell you what I've heard. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm listening. People have said that from time to time, Sir William would go to the vicarage at night. That's all? What's so strange about him going to church? Nothing much, I'd guess, if it hadn't been late after midnight. Oh. That is strange indeed. Just ask the gravedigger or the vicar. They both saw him. But don't mention me if you decide to go see him. They needn't know that I told you anything. Oh, thank you. Okay, that actually is something. And now, uh, Mark, and out of curiosity, I could keep going. I need to speak with Mark. You probably know each other. Yeah, we 
We've known each other for years, but he's not here today. Do you know where he works? I would like to go see him. Mark only works when he must. He hasn't got a permanent job. But try old Murray. Or Herman. He does something for both of them from time to time. Well, that's good. I have easy access to Herman, and I've been wanting to go to Murray's, uh, what was it, pawn shop? Anyway, uh, out of curiosity. So, how's it going? All right, I guess. Why don't you take a chair? I'm a little short on time. Uh, some other day, perhaps. Never mind. I'm used to drinking alone. All right, bye. So... Across the bridge, is there anywhere else to go? That's just to the pier. What if I do cross the bridge? Oh, hello. There's the bone shop on the right. I guess everything's on the right. Entrance, vaguely entrance, and then to the pawn shop. Shop window. I'll do the window first. Various objects. Porcelain statues, gold watches, breast pins. Mostly trinkets. Let's go in. The door is locked. There is a sign that reads, I'll be right back, Murray. But who knows if it hasn't been hanging here for a week already. Yeah, that's pretty obnoxious. Uh, well, I tried. Let's go back. All that. I've been hyped up for Murray's Pawn Shop for two and now kind of three different reasons. And oh well. Let's go back to the pier. Let's go to the secret fisherman, Jim. It still says fisherman, but Jim. Excuse me, may I speak with you? Sure you can, young man. All right, so, uh, the bond broker. How are you? Have you stopped for a talk? I'd like to ask you a question. I need something from the pawn shop on the other side of the river, but it's closed. Yeah, that's possible. Have you any idea when Murray opens the shop? No, I haven't. I don't care what he does. I must go now. <laughs> I must go now. All right, well, let's talk to the kid. I'll just go through the townsfolk, right? And uh, pawn shop. Have you seen Murray today? His shop is closed. Why should I care about his shop? Why? Is there a problem? Well. That old man doesn't like me hanging around that shop of his. Or rather around those glass cases. I've got no idea what his problem is. Hmm. I may have one. Oh. I do remember seeing him leave this morning. Do you have an idea when he will be returning? Judging by how he shopped himself up, he must have gone into town. So he's probably not going to return before tomorrow. Oops! Oh, what was that? What's this here? A ball? Vic! I know it was you, and I know you can hear me. Just you wait till I catch you. I'll beat you within an inch of your life. Oh, God. Oh, damn. Now I'll have to clean up all this mess. Hmm. I suspect Vic is not going to show up for a while. Jeez. I was looking for information and look what happened. And this is after I told him to avoid the damn windows. Uh, sir, I'm sorry. I distracted the kid. 
What will it be, sir? I'd like to ask about something. Sure, go ahead. About I the pawn came shop? I on a closed pawn shop. Is it ever open? Sure. Old Murray would never close the shop without a reason. He probably had to leave. Some business of his own, no doubt. You don't speak well of him. Not many do. Everyone knows he's an old sly boots. The only thing he cares about is cheating people in that old junk shop. Well, what would you expect from an old cheapskate? Wow, ouch. I guess one more shot with Tom? Yeah, drink up, buddy. I'm trying to ask you something. Hello, sir. Will you sit down? No, I really can't. Maybe some other time. Never mind. I'm used to drinking alone. Later then. We just got nothing. See just you. nothing. All right, well, I've gotten sufficient information about... I guess, Willie, and we have a lead. Let's try this out for size. Whoops, I can click the vicarage now. The Worm Hill Parish. Gorgeous place. It's vast. Main entrance. The main entrance is closed and only opens on Sundays. I've got to use the side entrance. Enter the church. Can I do that? Really making my way along the screen, jeez. Oh, and we pan. The church is locked. Okay, well, there's this guy. You might have heard the background noise of him digging. Good afternoon. Have you time for a little talk? Uh, sir? I never hurry anywhere, unlike everyone else around here. I'm interested in learning about the parish and this cemetery. I think you're the right man to ask. Maybe. I've been helping Father Frederick for many years now. I know the names on all the graves. What do you want to know? All right, well, we have things to ask about. Warm Hill Parish, Church, Frederick... Gravedigger. Let's start with the parish. Tell me, how old is this parish? No one knows how old exactly, but this cemetery and church are much older than anything in the neighborhood. A long time ago, they used to bury heretics here. They say there's a system of corridors under the cemetery where the souls of the innocent wander looking for a way out. You know, I've seen quite a lot all these years here, but... For instance? Well, it was a long time ago, but some years back I heard something like the voice of a child in the distance. It was moaning and singing verses. At first I thought it was just an illusion, but then I could no longer contain my curiosity and went outside to have a look. I followed the sound of the voice, but the closer I got, the less audible the voice became. Maybe it was just a child playing nearby. Two hours after midnight? I don't think so. Plus, look around. There are graves far and wide. Hmm. But that's past now. I have no idea what it was, and I do not want to know. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. <laughs> Have you heard the voice again or anything similar? I've already told you enough. Don't tell anyone about this. I don't want to look like an old fool. Okay, how about Father Frederick? You said you have known Father Frederick for many years. What can you tell me about him? Father Frederick is the best man I know. He took me in when I was orphaned and raised me as his son. For that, I will be grateful to him for the rest of my life, and I will be around to help him as long as I am able to. 
but if you want to talk to him, you will have to wait until he returns from the neighboring manor. I see. Thanks. High praise. Uh, the Great Theory himself. Tell me, what is your name, actually? Mine? No one calls me anything other than Gravedigger. Father Frederick's Gravedigger. And I don't mind if you have questions about it. It's true, anyway. And you are a Gordon, right? Yes, Samuel Gordon. So you're the grandson of old Mr. William? Yes. I saw you at the funeral. Of course. Did you know William? No, not personally. I would see him from time to time, though. He used to go inside the church. How often? Not that often, but when he did show up, he was always in a hurry, as if he knew he didn't have much time left. Did he ever speak with you? No, I told you, I did not know him well. But he would speak with Father Frederick, wouldn't he? You will have to ask Father that yourself. I will. Thanks. Okay, a little bit more. Let's ask about William himself. I've heard that you sometimes saw William come to the vicarage late at night. Is that true? Who told you that? That's not important. So is it true? I don't care to talk about it. I don't want to look for problems. Whatever you tell me will stay just between us. It's not like I think I can trust you, but since you're a Gordon, I'll tell you what I've seen. Everyone who knew old Sir William thought he was a bit of a madman. Please don't get offended. And later, when he refused to see anyone, the gossip began floating about. I'm telling you this so that you know I'm not making up what I'm going to tell you next. Go on. I first saw him here some six months ago. I was sitting in my cabin, about to go to bed. I saw a light. It was someone approaching the church. In the 20 years that I've been working here, no one has ever come here this late. So I went outside to check out what was going on. I saw a figure concealed in a dark coat walking among the graves. He was looking for something, his head down to the ground. Was it William? At that moment, I had no idea who it was. I couldn't see his face in the darkness. He spent some 20 minutes there, going round, mumbling something. What was he saying? Well, I observed him from a distance. It wasn't audible. So what happened next? The church door opened, and he made for it right away. I cautiously followed him. Father Frederick was standing in the doorway. It seemed as if he was expecting that person. It was only then I realized it was Sir William because I was close enough to recognize his voice. He and the father had a long conversation then, and Sir William was waving his hands vigorously about during most of it. They finally went inside, and that is all I saw. Do you know anything more? I never stick my nose in other people's business. Thanks for telling me this. I only told you because you're Sir William's grandson. Now leave me alone. I have to finish my work here. Why was William meeting with Father Frederick in the middle of the night? Intriguing. And finally the church. May I have a look inside the church? You have to wait for Father Frederick to return. The church is going to stay locked until then. But you can open it, can't you? It doesn't matter. It's going to stay locked, as Father Frederick ordered. Okay, that just kicks me out. Alright, that was loads of conversation. I'm going to do a little more, but first I'm going to save. I guess I'll head back to the left all the way. There was no immediate exit on this screen. That's why I was hovering around and looking, pressing tab a couple times. 
Let's keep moving. Yeah, the rear cemetery, this is what I'm more interested in now. Oh boy. To William's grave. Okay, that makes it easier. I was afraid I'd have to highlight every tombstone. Wow. Crypt? Is, is that it? Multiple crypts. Gravestone? That's him. That music. William will rest in this cold grave forever. I'll find out the whole truth, even if I go through hell for it. Nothing else to click here. Let's back off. Let's back off again. Let's back off again. <laughs> <laughs> 